Hey guys, um, most of this is going to be filmed off the phone, so it's probably going to be very average. Hitting up a snorkel today from Meredith Metalworks. He's actually a mate of mine, been friends for a long time, and finally get to fit up one of his products. So let's get stuck into it. First things first, I want to get um, this lid taken off. I'm just going to undo this hose clamp, get it all out the way, get the filter out just so we can get in here a bit easier. And then I'm going to remove this inner guard just to get the piping through. All right, so the inner guard's removed to get access. This pipe gets taken out. It's just this factory intake for that hole there which obviously leads into the airbox. So I've just sealed up this pipe that just, this little one here just pops out and then you can run silicon right around it, put it back in and put the screw in. And I will be, once the install's done, sealing up and oversealing this inlet here. Um, and I, as a personal preference, I will seal this one up as well. Some people don't like to do it because that's where the water gets out if any does get in but I'd prefer to seal that up and have a full sealed up intake so yes next step we will mask up this guard and this end of the snorkel not that end yeah this end of the snorkel just where it's going to be rubbing on the paint and the panel as you try and fit it uh they recommend to do that just so you don't scratch all the uh, powder coat. Alright, so you'll cut out the template, as they've said. You line this body line up with, if you shut the bonnet, this line should run with your bonnet. And then you've got these bolt indicators, which give you the distance back to front of where these bolts are in there. That's where your indicators should sit on. And yeah, Trace that out, start hacking away at it. Um, I'm just doing this with tin snips. You can use nibblers as well, but I plan on going just inside this black line as neat as I can. And then we'll slowly just make it bigger as we um, trial up the pipe. Yeah, taped all this off so it doesn't get scratched up on the um, cut guard. Yeah, see how we go. Bloody nerve wracking. Now we have the hole roughly cut. I'll put the snorkel in place and I'm doing this on my own, so. Um, might just put the camera down for it, but yeah, we'll put the snorkel in place, slowly trim where I need to, and hopefully it fits up. I mean, they got, they've got clear instructions and everything, so if I do this right, it should be fine. All right, that's so that hole's perfect. And also marked these two holes up here for the rib nuts. Um, I just put that in there just to protect the snorkel a bit and to see how it fit with the, um, with this installed, as it does take up another couple mil of the hole. So before this gets fitted off properly, I need to go ahead and clean up, or not clean up, but paint this edge just to protect it with rust and everything. Um, and then this fella can go back on and I'll drill those two holes out. All right, so fit it up here and nut sets are in. I think that looks pretty cool. I think just take your time with it. Make sure you get it exactly how you're happy. Um, probably been fiddling around like 40 minutes or so. Just to make sure it's, you know, as good as I would want. And um, yeah, now we've got to fit 
which was silicon piping supplied and this joiner for the stainless um, there's a four inch to a three and a three to a three these need trimmed up um, just as the instructions say so I'll be back when that's all done so silicon hoses are fitted down there I've sealed up all the intake there <clears throat> I just use this little spatula just to you know smooth around stuff and this is all the piping they give you for underneath yep just got two clamps there one up there on the four inch the only thing i suggest is when you're doing these ones just make sure that you can feel this this stainless inside the silicon before you do the clamps up because you don't want them popping off and that's it it's the finished product it's really nice very happy with everything all the inner guards are back in silicon's all tightened up so one thing left to do <laughs> Thanks for watching.